Today on Air Tech Kitchen, we are making tomato soup. And tomato soup is one of your favorite soups, isn't it, Maria? Yes. But a lot of times we do make it out of the mm -hmm. can, and this time we're going to make it on our own. So we control the ingredients a little bit more, right? Yes. This is super simple recipe that we're going to show you today, and we're also going to be making homemade croutons as well, and those are super simple as well. So, are you excited? Yeah. All the little like bread, crunchy breads, mm -hmm. croutons. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. All right, let's get started on making this tomato soup. Here we go. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> you want? Do onions ever make your eyes water, Maria? I don't know. And I'm just going to say, oh great, these are onions. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to finally dice these onions. I'm drizzling some olive oil into a pot that's over medium heat. And now I'm just going to add in some onions that my mom chopped up earlier into this pot and we're going to have them cook for about 15 minutes. And now I'm just going to stir. We are going to add in two cloves of garlic that my mom chopped up earlier. And we are going to let it cook for one minute. Okay, so our garlic has cooked. Now we're just going to add in about three tablespoons or so of some tomato paste. Now I'm going to add in one can of crushed up tomatoes. And now I'm just going to stir it. So, Maria, if you can take this chicken stock that we have right here, it's four cups of chicken stock, and we actually got the unsalted. Be really careful. There you oh, my. That's okay. <laughs> we actually got the unsalted chicken stock so we can control how much sodium we have in it. So we can test... Is there a chicken stock, please? <laughs> no, it's fine. It's all cooked. No worries for the chicken stock, police. Okay? <laughs> And that way we can control all the ingredients again because sodium is a big deal. So we're going to let this kind of come together and just let all those flavors kind of intertwine maybe for about 15 minutes on a medium heat. Mm -hmm. And we're almost done, Maria. Of wow. course we're going to have to try it. <laughs> yes. But while it's doing that, why don't we go ahead and get started on making our homemade croutons. Cool. All right, let's get started with that one. Okay. So, Maria, we're on to making the crouton part, okay? Okay. Are you excited? Yeah. She loves bread, so this will be a good one for you. All right, so tell everyone, what are you going to do to make these croutons? I'm going to just place this bread on the... Baking sheet. Baking sheet. Right. And then what I'm going to just put some olive oil on it to help it brown. Right. And in the meantime, we do have our oven preset at 400 degrees. Okay, just kind of drizzle all over. Here, I'll do that. I'll take that over while you talk about the next one. <laughs> okay, now we're going to add some, ore some oregano on. Right. And this is just kind of another seasoning that you can use. You could always use salt and pepper, but okay. And it'll come out kind of, yep, just kind of shake it. There you go. And I think that oregano is going to be perfect, especially with the tomato soup. 
All right, now we're gonna head over to the stove <laughs> and we're gonna cook, uh, we're gonna bake these for about six minutes until they turn brown. And the nice thing with croutons too is if you don't use them all, Maria, you can always put them in an airtight container and you can keep them for a couple weeks. Yeah. So you can put them on like salads or anything that you want, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's head over to the stove, all right? Okay. Okay. Our tomato soup came up to a boil, so we let all those flavors kind of mellow together, and we seasoned it according to our taste buds, so however much you want to season yours, you can with salt and pepper. And Maria doesn't like a lot of chunks in it, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use an immersion blender and just blend this so it's not so chunky. But this is definitely optional. We got um, it all nice and set up and pretty. Mm -hmm. I don't know, last year, I don't remember if uh, you guys remember when I made the chicken noodle soup. Remember Grandma's homemade chicken noodle soup? Mm -hmm. I served it out of this, which was my mom and dad's when they got married. So kind of cool, huh? Yeah. All right. I'm really crossing my fingers on this one that Maria likes it because obviously this is much healthier than um, the stuff out of the can. Can I have that one? Yes. I really want to try it. You can. And of course, we can't forget about our croutons, right? Mm -hmm. Grab a couple croutons and put them in there. You could even. Inside? Yeah. Kind of like grilled cheese. You know, you could always put cheese on top of them, too, before you bake <laughs> them. And that would be delicious, too. Cross my fingers. What do you think? It's a little warm. Good. You like? You do? Yeah, let me try. It's okay. It's okay. It tastes fresher though, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Tastes better? I want to try one of these plates. <laughs> it's so good. And I love the cream that you put in right at the end because it makes it kind of creamy. But this is good. That's good? <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Well, you know, you kind of like it though, don't you or not? Kinda. Kind of? Okay. You got a little oregano right on your lip. I got it. <laughs> Very nice. Well, we hope you try this recipe. It is awesome. I love this time of year because we get to do soups. I love soups. They're probably one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. They're so comforting. So warm. <laughs> so, all right. That's it, Maria, right? Yes. In the meantime, we want you to head to our website, AmateurKitchen.tv, to find all of our recipes and videos, including this one. We also want you to head to our Facebook page, Facebook.com slash Amateur Kitchen. And what do they need to do, Maria? Click that little like button. So you can follow us every single day. I'm going to at least finish enjoying this because it's about lunchtime and I'm starving. Are you going to try more? Maybe. Maybe. Well, that's good. We hope you try this recipe and let us know what you think. We want to see you right here again next time on Immature Kitchen. See you later. Bye. All right, I'm going to dig into these croutons. You like the croutons? Mm-hmm. Croutons are nice. Dad, you can come downstairs now.